UCSF infectious disease expert Dr. Monica Gandhi joining us now uh, to answer some of those burning questions we all have. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. You know, the CDC is saying the Delta variant is even more dangerous than thir first thought. So can you explain why that is? You know, this is um, a really transmissible variant. And what that means is there are really high viral loads in the nose, which can pass easily to other people. Unfortunately, it's not just from unvaccinated people. People who have symptomatic breakthroughs, which are also more common, they're mild, but they're still more common among vaccinated people, can also pass along the virus. Probably not equally to unvaccinated. I think that's a misinterpretation of a study, but nonetheless, it's happening. And so because of that, we have to wear masks again inside, which is, which is a setback, but it's necessary. Right, and that leads my next question. You know, we were talking about mask guidelines. San Francisco talking about possibly mask mandates next week and possibly in other counties. So what, what do you see coming in the next days to come? So I do think that it's likely that counties are gonna increasingly, including our own, have mask mandates. Now, all that means is that indoors, kind of in mixed company when you're around others and you don't know everyone's status, it's putting back masks for the vaccinated when the vaccinated before could take off their masks. The alpha variant was really different. This is much more transmissible and that's why it's indicated because we don't even want mild symptomatic breakthroughs, which are definitely happening at a higher degree. The good news, well, I don't know if it's good news, but I can just tell you that models from UCSF are showing this will go down. If we look at the UK, it went down. We just need another month and a half to get through this. Right, and so the message I know that you're always sending out there is even those who are fully vaccinated should also be careful about social distancing and traveling and masking, correct? At this point, this is a different variant, yes. And so it really did change that entire May 13th CDC guidance of masks, which was really hopeful and based on alpha. alpha. At this point, yes. It doesn't mean that you can't do the things you were gonna do. The difference is now you're gonna do it with a mask. And you always leave us with uh, that sense of optimism. So what I'm hearing from you is really we have to hold on, do our part, and maybe in the fall, um, this will subside. I want to leave you with a sense of optimism <laughs> leave because us, this yes. has been such a roller coaster and it keeps on going back and forth. This is the good thing, right? So the UK had about six to seven weeks ahead of us. Their cases started plummeting about 10 days ago. So the same modeling is being doing here is being done here. And we hope mid to late September, that's when the cases are gonna plummet. Let's get through another month and a half mm -hmm. of pandemic and then it will start coming down and we'll get back to a better state all right we just have to do our part vaaccinations and yes, masking. please all right vaccinations masking thank you so much on this saturday evening appreciate your time dr gandhi we'll see you soon